Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Hagen and today we're continuing the Wasteland 3 Supreme Jerk Blind Playthrough episode 32 Still Only to Death and we are uh, finally getting the Frontier Justice, Nalius Dorsey. He is apparently in the Snowed Inn Resort, uh, which we are definitely going to raid and uh, hopefully this time we're not just finding a couple of cannibals, but him. So let's go, boys. Time for us to move forward. As we're always doing. Nerd stuff 9 or hacking 10. Wow, that's... That's some juicy skill checks right there. Good. In the meantime, I might be able to just bypass a bit of this here. Wait, there is... Okay, uh, there is something to dig up here. Might be helpful. And of course, it appears like we cannot use the Kodiak. Lucia does have how much animal? Whisperer, five. Okay, that's not enough to tame. Uh, to tame that bear. Hmm. Well, I don't want to give up my 20% melee damage bonus from the stag, so not happening. Which is not to say that uh, maybe this animal wouldn't have given us even better rewards. Let's just double check what is going to happen on this side. Okay, well that's the direct confrontation route. So let's try to still take the back entrance. Cool, a couple of Dorsey killers, uh, but we generally should be fine. I spy with my little eye something <laughs> Central over here. Lucia right there, Hawkbite right there. And Quan over here. Let's start the fight. Very good. Um, look, we're going to start with drinking a beer. Followed by a nice little rally. Fantastic skill, by the way. Thinking about maybe getting someone else rally as well, so that we have two rounds where people can rally. Ramos go, uh, doing well. Um, Lucia could use kind of a nice little shotgun. 
hit. Moves in. Switches to the shotgun. Nice, nice hit. Could have, by the way, just stunned all three of them. Potentially be more efficient. But okay, whatever. Sentra moves up. Oh, wrong weapon. Wrong weapon. Anyways. here with Hawkbite. Nice. Oh, 400. Hawkbite, you machine. Not bad. Not bad at all. That'll give us another Stormer. It's the Dorsey over there and... Let's use this here as a distraction. Mark him. Direct headshot. Ah, okay, not not fantastic, but still good. Wow, we're still taking a lot of damage despite all of our efforts to mitigate it. Hawkbite charges in. Completely takes out that Dorsey. And then kills him. Fantastic. Good, that's triple stun. Hit and headshot and self heal. Hit. Kill. We need another disco bot. Uh, I think we, we just heal ourselves. Central charges in, gets a free hit, follows up, 
with two salvos and almost deletes one of them. Okay, good. Murphy helps her and we're trying to be preservant of our ammunition so a hawk bite just kills the guy level 17 assault rifle that's not bad Finally melee combat, that is important. Finally. Another level 17 assault rifle. That's a great loot area here. We get good stuff. Another level 17 assault rifle, holy. All right, so a couple of things. Uh, Hogbite was waiting for that melee combat uh, thing to happen. Give me that sweet, sweet book. Read it and enjoy the level 10 perk, shrug it off. Whilst well, using a blunt weapon, gain five armor and 10 status effect resistance for everyone adjacent to you. And we do have a blunt weapon as our secondary weapon. So that's fantastic. Can always just switch around. Uh, what I haven't used is the Electro Helmet, uh, so that was a bit my bad. Uh, there was a chance for it uh, and the second thing is assault rifles so we got level 17 assault rifle already and I think although I like uh, the pulse uh, rifle 13 to 16 uh, this here is more efficient plus um, we still do have quite a bit of 7.62 ammunition we also do have a lot of energy cells, but uh, I consider them to be slightly more valuable. Central got a level up. We're going to put more strength in him, so he's now at 250 hit points. That's helpful. Leadership, we're still waiting that to, to go up. Um, Good, but he's now at the point where his core build is done. Kiss S we are putting on Lucia, so that's not happening. Barter is fine. Uh, first aid is where it is, so no more of that. Which means we're either going into explosives or into weird signs. I think we need another explosive guy. So that'll help um, if we find a module that allows us to convert explosive so normal damage into explosives then that would be great because it also means more damage and for explosives we don't need bomb recovery we don't need that the only thing that i'm really looking for is that extra explosive damage and well, not even the blast radius i think all of that is fine all of that is actually fine we're free to use whatever we want we already got the defensive perks here maybe for him another uh another perk in deep pockets wouldn't be too bad or fire resistance explosive resistance generally fine this year the emergency response is good because um he already when someone is down gets that extra uh, those extra ap and being able to be a bit faster in combat isn't bad either fire resistance 20 explosion explosion resistance 20 that is good to not get one shot by a rocket so that's another excellent uh, perk and the other option is if he's in the open we might just use reckless for more damage so let's go with reckless 
and then we can take defensive perks afterwards yet another option just thinking out loud here is uh, to simply go with um, double tap which has been very very good um, and basically giving him as a second weapon besides SMGs uh, the assault rifles because say what you want about assault rifles they are definitely a jack of all trades um, their ability to crit on every second iteration of uh, the shots is quite impressive so that's not uh, not bad at all and this is defensive perk this year we don't need be or because we already have a de facto that's not needed that's maybe okay but we're not using that really also not using that so this here would be the only thing just from the explosive uh, perk that i'd be interested in and he's not really uh, doing a lot of explosives i just want him to have that extra explosive damage because uh, explosive damage increases uh, not only explosive resistance but also gives a bonus damage to explosives so if we do have a gun uh, that does explosive then that would be fantastic um, That extra submachine gun uh, damage, I think 15% is nothing to sneeze at, so we might want to use that. And the remaining perks we're then putting into uh, into assault rifles, because evasion and armor don't feel that that is uh, too valuable. We already have one automatic weapon perk with puncturing shot. I think double tap will be the natural next consequence and i wonder might want to get to the next break point so here in strength six seems like a good breaking point for him and then it's really a question are we okay with 300 hit points and maybe increase awareness a little bit more because he is the only one not benefiting from his own aura so I think that could be a decent build. Yeah, I think that could be a decent build. I'm actually quite happy with how it turned uh, turned out. A couple of uh, skills like barter and kisses that theoretically we could put into explosives, but will really matter at the end. I don't know. I mean, it's maybe two three percent uh, damage. So not even sure if I want to reskill him. We're going to see. I definitely want that extra leadership upgrade, but we're going to find the book sooner or later and then uh, leadership would be maximized and in terms of perks when do we uh, get the rally perk is three leadership so um who could be a good person for that let me just think that through and sorry for just going in a completely different direction um we are okay on weird signs with hogbite for now a little bit more later could be good but hear me out maybe um, a bit of an alternative approach here Hogbite definitely with the next level up could take three in leadership uh, granted he's like not incredibly good at it uh, but uh, another point might be okay what I'm trying to say here is um, he gains a lot of strike rate uh, and if I'm not mistaken, leadership uh, itself on level 3 grants plus 3 to hit, is that correct? So essentially by using this, uh, he would give central plus 3 hit chance, right? Um, and he can get the rally, rally perk, which might be helpful. The other option uh, is... Um, Marshal Quan he still needs a few points into automatic weapons, but generally is almost done um, with his build. Now I think Hogbite might be the better choice. It's just three points. He also has a perk left over, um, and the only perk that I'm really looking forward for him is tender loving care, and then of course maybe some weird science perk, but. <clears throat> and healthy so i shouldn't uh, be too dismissive with it but generally speaking that rally 
is very well worth it and giving letting him spend four of his AP so that everybody else can have two AP I think that's worth it so a little bit of build refinement as we're progressing Okay, second gate is open. I'm taking a wild guess here uh, that the other uh, side will open uh, the other gate. So now it's a question of how do we approach uh, these fine gentlemen here. And Quan. Good. Ramos begins uh, the fight, and we're of course in the middle of a nice, massive shootout right away. Everybody's rallied, and Hogbite move to here this time I won't forget about his helmet all right this guy is shocked not bad but not great either uh, what Hogbite is going to do is he's animal whispering over here so it's going to give us one for free And he's taking some cover. I learned my lesson. Never assume that you are going to survive the enemy turn. All right, Lucia. Lucia, my good Lucia. I like the idea of getting another beast. Starting to move here. Get that second beast. And I'll wait with her depending on what the others are doing. Central moves up, gets the shooter perk. It's this guy, we do have one Dorsey Hunter up there, which I don't appreciate. Quan eliminates that threat there. And we have, again, too much clutter. Lucia. Comet stims herself. guy stays in the open I don't like it uh, she could do an ambush though against that beast central moves over Quan
Hmm, good question. What does Quan do? I think we're going to do a little bit of a cheeky maneuver here. Shoot. Into that should it be a crit. Oh no, 20% chance only. Yeah, not good. All right, Quan moves up. And begins to hit the next beast. Gabs there is very, very well uh, covered. So we're marking him. 50-50. Wow, really? Good. We're just ambushing. Good hit, but unfortunately not the crit that I was hoping for. And of course we're seeing them go for quote unquote the weakest target. Luckily we upgraded our defenses on central. On Supreme Jerk, what's really a bit disheartening is the movement of the enemies, which is just bonkers. No other way of uh, saying it. And their sheer and utter amount of damage that they are dealing. Okay, well, look, Centro needs to heal himself. Lucia. I don't like the fact that uh, she has such a hard time hitting stuff. 38%, that's ridiculous. Goes into cover, 50-50, not great, but okay. And we're taking this beast out. Fantastic. Good. Was one down. That's another one very well hit. Awkward one and two, three. One. Wow, these things are sturdy. Look at the amount of damage that the, this guy is eating. Are you kidding me? Not even that? You're denying me the kill? Wow. Well, these must be rather high level enemies because I have a hard time to understand how we are supposed to chew through so much hit points. Potentially more crit damage uh, still.
Good, that animal thing was one of the best investments that we've ever done. There you go. Once you crit, things are starting to light up, right? percent miss fabulous good uh, we're maximizing awareness thank you in terms of skills lock picking would be great but we're waiting for proper level ups and we're continuing with toaster repair perks extra hit points uh, first and then we can go with uh, the uh, with the flamer perks that we talked about, but I think we're starting with extra hit points because I want to make sure that we're surviving at least one attack. Let's see however is good. Enemies that are burning have minus 15% hit chance. That's really good. Toasty is also good, but I think we are not going to get to Toasty. We might be able to get to Heating Element, 25% more uh, heat damage. But let's purchase uh, the Defensive Perk, which now brings him to a solid 310 hit points. Every little hit point counts, and our quote-unquote tankier uh, part is 3 to 400. Even Quan is 300. How does that guy get away with it? But yeah, he has all of the defensive perks and he has a lot of strengths. He's a sleeper, man. I'm telling you. He hits well. The AK deals decent damage. He uses his mechanic knowledge. He always has something to do. Uh, mm, Quan is a good character. I really like uh, uh, what has uh, become out of him. And if we could get maybe a little bit more strength onto Central, because getting him over that 300 mark would be great. Just so that we're not always at the whim of being immediately downed. Central has uh, the highest crit negate chance, so uh, he is doing very well for himself. Level 17 sniper rifle. I think ours is better, unless I'm missing something. Let's just double check. Yeah, okay, not even a close comparison. Ours is substantially better. Creepy doll. Hit chance plus 2% for everyone. That is phenomenal. Those dolls are helpful. Very, very helpful. Chicken. Okay. Are these chicken or robo chicken? They seem to be normal chicken. There's a toaster repair, by the way. And as you can imagine, great that it. Uh, mm, yet again doesn't work for us. Good, there is the second door. I also have uh, an entrance way from up here. But I think what we're going to do is we're taking the door 
because uh, we do have our car down there, the Kodiak. And if we can use the Kodiak to get in there, oh yeah, then it's go time. They do have a robot. Uh -oh. All right, Quan. Wait, there are explosive barrels. There we go. That's the right start. Kodiak begins to move up and we're going to do the ultimate maneuver called chicken out as we're moving back a little bit of a trap here Hogbite is going to wait exactly here and uh, drinks a pop and bushes. Lucia is going to wait over here, stims herself. There's a nice ambush. Ramos into cover and does a nice little ambush. We have no other place to hide, so Central effectively is going to go back mainly because I don't want anything to happen and the Stormer perk allows us to work very well in situations where we just move forward and there's another trap good let the enemy come let them move forward Good. Our ambush has still dealt quite a bit of damage. How? What? That's not even a line of sight. Oh my lord. Okay, lots of... Uh, Bits and pieces of damage are happening. Alright, bad boy. Kodiak moves in. Oh, hello here. Kodiak. Prepares an attack for next round.
Interesting. I think we've just successfully blocked the entrance completely. Hitting the Dorsey Killer. And prepare for next round. Quan gets a free shot. Takes a follow up crit. Heal each, uh, we heal ourselves. Central moves up, takes the shot, kills this guy. Central did very well here. Just in case if someone moves along, let's ambush. Okay, well, we'll take action points over for next turn. Lucia puts a shrink grenade in there. Stupid bot. It's much better served once he's shrunk. Moves to here. And yeah, let's just ambush. We knew that there would be damage, but Kodiak is still holding, holding up very nicely. No, 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 Major Tom is not supposed uh, to take that much damage. Be careful. Major Tom needs healing. Dead to Good, that war uh, bot needs to die. Unfortunately, we can't ride uh, over that warbot, but we can drive over pretty much anything else. Hogbite will take care over here. Thank you, but we need you. Moves to here and don't want uh, Major Tomcat to go down. He was with us from the very beginning and we can't replace him. We can pretty much replace anything else but him. Good. 
Lucia shoots hit the CPU and uh, takes over the robot fantastic well that solves yet another problem one needs to be the one disabling uh, these uh, things all right Quan If we charge up here, that means we can't be hit. And next round, Quan can remove this guy from the equation. Give him an another target. Take a nice little disco board there. Murphy puts himself here. The door see hunters up there. We need to get to them. Mark the bot uh, in case he ever betrays us. We can easy, uh, hit him more easily. Lucia sets up an ambush and central. Hmm. Forty two per cent. 32 with uh, this however we could charge up and I think that's the right call from one direction and move from the other oh storm only fu functions once around okay good to know very good to know learn something you can't just trick the system by continuously moving back and forth back and forth good. setting another ambush Yep, that's good hits. That is fantastic hits. I need to help the clone maybe as well. But before we do that... One kills uh, this, fantastic. And then moves up. Wait, Quan still could shoot, right? Just not at anyone inside, unfortunately. All right, Hogbite moves in. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know, man. Should we? Should we go for it? I think we're better off doing it next round. Good hit. I like it. Kodiak moves forward. I uh, could have used uh, the goat cannon. A bit of an oversight because we could have goated these two and they would have likely been taken out. Murphy moves over here. Let's try to hit that cannon. Fabulous. Great hit. And Lucia finally gets behind the enemy lines. <laughs> Miss it, uh, misses that beautiful, beautiful 84% shot. Okay, well, so, well Lucy, I thought Lucia would be de facto down, but that's not the case. Good, take out uh, this guy. Good, once he is sonic uh, we should be good. What am I even doing? The Cordia could quite easily destroy him, right? Junk, junk, crafting component, decent assault rifle, a decent rocket launcher, wait a second, All right, 
so we got a good rocket launcher well it's not an awesome one but it is a decent one so that's not too bad uh, where is that bad boy weapons uh, yeah I think it's fine in terms of rockets we still only have 14 and we have not used uh, them over the last 30 episodes it shows you just how rare they are Nice grenade. Another sniper rifle, unfortunately not as good as ours. I'm just trying to understand this. So we have been here, we have been there. I'll send you. It wasn't the Patriarch that brought us here. It was me. I'm Lucia Wesson, and I'm here for vengeance. Mm -hmm. For justice, for what you did to my family. Oh, yeah. There ain't no way that we're letting him go. Wesson? <laughs> I thought the Reed boy took you all to the Garden of the Gods. You could never count on the Reeds to do anything right. Say... Speaking of fathers, did you know that Liberty Buchanan's got a hold of yours? I mean, go right ahead and kill me. One way or the other, I know I'm dying today. And you should know that old Percival brought all this down on you himself. He worked with the Patriarch to eradicate my family. Just because we wanted old-fashioned American elections. Betty didn't tell you that. Yeah, but that just doesn't justify killing others. What? But he would never... Even if that's true, what right did that give you to kill my family? I did nothing to you. My little brother did exactly. nothing to you. Exactly. Good point, Lucia. never about you, little Wesson. It was about hurting your father. He destroyed the innocents in my family because he didn't like what I had to say. Turnabout's fair play, I guess. No, that's not fair play. I am truly sorry for your loss. Take consolation in knowing that you're about to have revenge. Everyone thought the Dorseys were dead. How did you survive all the time? He fled to the plains. And, uh, figure out how to live rough and blend in our kids who were born out there may as well be savages we fought and we scrapped and we starved when the patriarch exiled liberty she came and found us offered us a shot at getting revenge on her father blah blah yeah, i've heard that a hundred times uh, violence uh, never justifies violence What do you know about the attack on the Ranger Convoy? My sons and I planned it. Word came that Buchanan was sending for help, trying to shore up his shaky throne. Didn't know much about you, but I did know I couldn't let aid reach him. Got the whole extended family together, and all our Aunt Liberty said I was moving too soon and told me to wait. I thought she was being too cautious. Figured I'd get the revolution started on my own. Take out you and the Patriarch all at once. Guess Liberty was right. Why would you ally with the Plains oh. Gang? You could have just talked to us instead of attacking us. Yeah, we could have. But we didn't. Mistakes were made. How could you shrug something like that off? It's not like an afternoon tea. Right. Oh yeah, I used the wrong tea bag. Uh, mm. He killed 50 people, even more. Speaking of people dying, I reckon you killed my son, Jared. 
what about my other son, Erastus? I haven't heard any word. He from took him. some people hostage, then disappeared. You know I haven't heard from him since. Maybe he'll find his way to a better life. He deserves more than the one I gave him. Enough chit chat. Well, this is the part. The last thing you're going to see is a Wesson pulling a trigger on your worthless hide. All right, go ahead. I want you on your knees, Dorsey. I want you staring up at me. I want you thinking about my little brother and my mama. I won't beg. I don't want you begging. I just want you thinking. Now look at me. His corpse steams in the winter air. This is the man who ordered the death of all of the rangers in your conway, including you. But it's still not clear if he's truly to blame. Think it's true? What he said? That my daddy murdered the Dorseys just for wanting elections? Sounds like a lot of uh, justification and push too much stock father. in it. We can ask him. Come on. Our work here is done. That guy got what he deserved. Level 18 bladed weapon. The Dorsey's family sword. Is that better than the toothpick? Well, that's a good question. All right, more damage. Uh, base hit chance is higher, but the dental pick is heavily modified. Crit chance same, penetration better. And it takes away armor. I think the Dorsey's family sword, believe it or not, is better. And it looks like a cool sword. Love it. If we modify it. Just a normal plain handle that gives it another better hit chance. I just never want to miss. The dental pick's still good, but I think our shock mace isn't bad either. So in terms of next um, things with hard bite, coordination, strength and intelligence we do have. We have a lot of speed. We could get even more speed and with that more evasion. Um, that might not be bad. Uh, let's see. So evasion. Higher this number, the more their swings and bullets will miss. Okay, so it's flat out, uh, flat out damage reduction. So maybe speed is something that we should pile in on Hogbite, uh, mainly because there's also evasion involved. The other option, hear me out for a second here, is certainly not awareness. We could go for luck and the route um, of more penetration. Just getting that one penetration is good. And also the route of charisma um, if we want to give him that leadership uh, which isn't bad either I think a little bit charisma say four charisma would go a long way as well so Let's go with that. Increases also his strike meter. And we wanted uh, leadership, right? Yes. So leadership three, easy peasy. Can uh, see what else we want. Get the rally ability, which is good. We still want the, the armor modding. Uh, level 10 perk and then the hit point perk so perk wise I think we're fine nothing more that we want uh, to get out of it the question is what is going to benefit this character and either um, we're going deeper into leadership or what's potentially going to be more helpful is weird signs 
because then he can take all of the armor that uses a little bit weird uh, signs and we can sometimes mod stuff so um, maybe there are more weapons out there that uh, will require here weird signs this here does not but I wouldn't exclude the fact that there is a melee weapon that requires weird signs, right? Right. Okay, cool. Uh, we do have another level with our favorite indiscreet uh, gentleman Murphy. Well, he's the opposite of a gentleman. I think I want just more hit points. He's now over 200. I think six strings is decent. It's a good um, breakpoint because you get enough constitution to not immediately fall over when someone is uh, looking weird at you. Weird signs upgrade is helpful. Sneaky shit will happen automatically. The small arms, counter offensive, not, no, none of that is helpful. Those are good. And I want, I want this here, the weird signs and the lights out. Both of that is fine as well. So we're just going to keep the stuff at the moment. Get weird signs further up, then we can take the perk and then there's still the sneaking uh, perk and maybe the extra hit points. But for now, I think um, if we can get to that six strength breakpoint, uh, he will be strong enough to withstand a little bit of damage. Cool, brawling weapon. We got a lot of brawling weapons and we don't even have someone who brawls. Commando uh, legs, I like those. What? Gorilla suit? Interesting. That's not even junk. There is apparently a gorilla suit. Ah, uh, some decent loot. Some decent loot, I think. Uh, that's a good point to call quits for today. We got Daddy's little secret. Uh, that that we will do a little bit later, but we still got Elf on a Shelf because there's another distressed call in Santa's workshop, which we will do next. And then we're finally going to Vic Buchanan, our second son, and are trying to get him. Uh, he is an Aspen, so that'll be an interesting uh, little exploration as well. That's all that, uh, for, that I had for today. We're good on the scrapping part. We're good on the money part. M way better than I would have expected so far. So we're actually doing quite well for our ourselves. Can sell a couple of the helmets as well, which isn't too bad. And uh, that's uh, really all I had for today. If uh, you would have also executed that guy, uh, give a little bit of a revenge like by scraping that like button and see you on the next episode. Bye bye, guys.